Hey everybody, Christina here, and today I wanted to share with you my January haul video. I'm going to try to do these definitely once a month because I'm trying to only order once a month, and uh, although this time I ordered twice from Simon Says Stamp, mainly because I saved my bir Christ birthday money, I was going to say, my Christmas money and wanted to um, do an order from Simon Says, and then I also was waiting for the new release of My Favorite Things, and then I got another little Christmas, belated Christmas gift from some people that I, I work with and uh, I went online and did a little bit more shopping so so anyway first thing I want to share with you I'm trying out for the very first time one of the Simon Says Stamps card kits this one is the February card kit I think it's called Water, Watercolor Fantasy I'll link below in the description along with all of the other uh, things that I purchased if you want to check them out but I wanted to try out one of the card kits it's a great way to build up your little collection of products and to even get try new things. Like I've already tried the gelatos, but if I didn't, this would be a great way to play. So this kit comes with a gold gelato, comes with a little mason jar paper clip, and you always get a little candy in your, your kit. So, so with that kit comes that, and it also comes with a piece of watercolor paper. I believe this is probably Tim Holtz watercolor paper. You get a P, uh, package. This is the full thing of white embossing powder. This is the Simon Says embossing powder, which I have never tried. So this will be fun to give that a try. And then you always get a stamp set with your kits. And this is the paper hug, it's called. And uh, super cute. And it actually coordinates really nice with the Kiss Kiss collection by Crate Paper. So this is the this is the stamp, and then this is the rubber-ons that came with the kit, and there's two sheets of rubber-ons. So that's really super cute. And then you get your 6x6 six six paper. So this one is also the Kiss Kiss collection. You get one of each of the papers from Crate Paper. And I can't wait to play with this. I have this collection already, but I definitely can't wait to make some kits or cards. It's got everything. This kit's already got everything in it uh, that I could just go ahead and start playing. It also comes with a paintbrush for when you're using gel your gelatos. And then I also, or with the kit, also comes with your card stock. So you've got your card base and you've got some different color pattern papers, or colored papers that match the pattern paper. And then the kit also came with some vintage paper from uh, book paper. And then also a little instruction uh, sheet or some samples and along with the kit contents. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's the kit. Also with that order, I picked up the Simon Says Ivory cardstock. Um, until I got the kit, I've never tried any of their cardstock before, so we're gonna give this a try. And then in another order, oh, in that order, I also picked up this stamp set, or this die set. It's called Sweetheart Tag. And it was one that I had seen before on their site and didn't order it, but then when I was placing my order for this stuff and I wanted to get it to, um, about $50, then I just threw this in there, so, because I really wanted to get that last time. And then my other order that I placed, I picked up some refills for my uh, tape dispenser, my glue tape, my glue tape runner, my tape runner. And uh, these are just the refills. I haven't had a refill this for this in quite some time, so I wanted to grab some so I could start using that, because I really like that runner. And then I also picked up this doodle bug six by six paper pad. Super bright and colorful papers in here, pattern paper. Do a couple more Valentine's Day themed cards. I really love this right here. That'd make, just cut that out and use it as a part of an element on your, your card. So really bright and cheerful and colorful and super cute Valentine's Day colors. I also picked up some more Pretty Pink Posh. These were two newest ones on the store site, so I picked up the six, milli six millimeter marshmallow in the flat, and I used these in a shaker card, my last shaker card, and I, I really, really like using the flat ones because you don't have to make it as thick. The the um, section where you put the the sequins, you don't have to make it as thick, and you can actually uh, mail this without having to add any postage. And then I also picked up the cupped ones. These are the ones that are uh, that you would probably do. You wouldn't want to do two layers on and the watermelon, and these are also six millimeter. And then recently, I finally drug um, out my Simon Says Stamps inks that I had purchased a set of these a couple months ago and really did, didn't sit down and play with them until this past, uh, that well, maybe two or three videos ago. 
and I absolutely love them. So when I was ordering, I went ahead and ordered more inks. I got this kit, and this is this came together, I believe it was like $29, which is a, to me a great way to get a sample of all of the different inks from Simon Says, and you get a little bit of each color. This one's called the Sweet Treats Ink Collection. And you get mint, cotton candy, Audrey blue, surf blue, and doll pink. And I really don't have anything, I don't think, I don't in this bright color. So I really like those colors. And I've been playing with these, and I really like them very much like the Hero Arts inks, where you stamp them and it might be blotchy, but once it starts to absorb into the paper, it the colors even out and it just makes a beautiful stamped image. So that's that for inks. And then my last thing are my stamps and my dies. I picked up, I waited for, like I said at the beginning of the video, for MFT's newest release. So this is the Steel Dies. Now MFT have released their um, dies, or their set at the beginning of January, but when I finally got onto their website, what I really wanted was already sold out. So then I thought, all right, well, I'll just wait until it becomes available. And then Simon Says got it. So, so I went ahead and ordered from them. This is the Blueprints Tag Builder number three set. And I've seen the um, Blueprints sets, but I didn't know they had a Tag Builder builder set. So this one comes with the, the shaped tag, and that's a stitched tag that has a stitched heart, and then everything else is just solid cutouts. But I really like this, and it's very, it's Valentine's themed, but yet I can use it for just about anything. So I got those dies. And then I picked up this sentiment set. It's called I Love You More, and it has lots of great sentiments like just I love you, I love you just the way you are, um, hello love, hello sunshine. So lots of cute sentiments on there. And then I picked up, I love this set. I just think it's so cute. And I definitely want to practice coloring with my Copics with her. It's You Have My Heart, and I just think this little girl is absolutely adorable. So and it has some really cute sentiments, um, including You Have My Heart. And then I also got the coordinating dies that match it, that cut out all the images, including even things like these little, the little paw prints and bones and stuff like that. So super cute. And then the one thing that I was really waiting for and I couldn't wait, and then I was so upset when I got onto My Favorite Things website, is this set. This is the basics, the Planner Basics stamp set and the Planner pieces dies and these work perfectly with your Erin Condren. They're all size to fit so these are all size to fit inside your Erin Condren planner. It fits in the spaces and then you can actually use these dies to relabel. So you know how if you're familiar with Erin Condren it says morning, afternoon, and evening or something along those lines. I can actually make my own using the stamps from here and then make my own three categories for each day. So super excited about that. I definitely will do a video when I have that all figured out and how I'm gonna do it. Um, you have this little section right here for creating your lines. You have little check lines here that work with this stamp set. And you have all these great images. You have things like, um, you know, doctors, you have, you know, like if you're eating out, or if you're happy, or if you're sad, you have an AM and PM. I like the little Target because probably that is on my to-do week thing every weekend is to go to the Target store. And then there's even books on here, so I can stamp that almost every day because I am at the library almost every day. There's a little grocery cart, so there's all these cute little images that work great with your everyday life. And then the sentiments up on the top, they're not only for things you want to do, like um, your work schedule, your vacation, uh, a holiday, birthdays, stuff like that, but it's also great because they have to do, they have blog, they have things like your, if you want to do your schedule for the day, they have a personal section, which I'm thinking I'm going to do, like my first, my top part, which normally is morning, I'm going to do is my to-do list. Blog will be in the, sen the middle because that's usually my um, section where I write if I'm going to do a blog post or video ideas or something like that, and then I'll have the, down the bottom for personal, for like scheduling um, appointments and stuff like that. So I just thought this was really cute. I wish there was a music note. That would been great, because every Tuesday is Ethan's piano lessons. Oh well. Anyway, even has a little check mark, so you can check them off if you wanted to, but I probably will just write them in. So, so this is like, that's the one thing I was really, really wanting to get from my favorite things. And then my last thing I purchased, which I can't put on the screen here, but I'll insert a picture, is my 
uh, the Tim Holtz Vagabond. Well, actually, it's an early Valentine's Day present from Scott. I wanted it for Christmas, but because it was never available on Amazon's website, which is the price I found it to be the cheapest. I think it was one sixty nine, and we have the Prime membership along with an Amazon Visa card. So whenever we buy things, either from Amazon or out. We use that card because then we receive rewards and then we can use it towards purchases. So we use that towards my Vagabond. So it's my early Valentine's gift, late slash late Christmas gift because I wanted it for Christmas, but they never had it in stock. And then last week I was like, oh, they have it, so we got to get it. So that pretty much is everything for my January haul. I hope you guys liked today's video. I'll list, like I said at the beginning of the video, everything I purchased down below in the YouTube description if you want to check it out. If you like today's video or if you like haul videos, give it a good thumbs up and I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.